uh, many people do not know what fragile X syndrome is. Because they are not taught, taught at school. So the awareness is important to get the people that can give us the support or give the scientists the support to advance this field and cure this uh, terrible disease. Fragile X syndrome is an inherited genetic condition that causes intellectual disability, behavioural and learning challenges and various physical characteristics. It affects all races and all nations. It occurs when a single gene on the X chromosome shuts down. This gene makes a protein for normal brain development. As the protein is not produced, the brain does not develop as it should. In children, this often causes speech and language developmental delays, significant anxiety, hyperactive behaviour and impulsive actions, aggression and sleep difficulties. Despite these many issues, children with Fragile X are often active and outgoing, friendly and social, humorous and very, very loving. But caring for someone with Fragile X Syndrome has a significant impact on the lives of families, especially those with severe symptoms. This restricts family life immensely. But there is great optimism among the Fragile X community. As Fragile X has a simple cause that scientists have already identified, a single gene mutation resulting in one missing protein, it means the syndrome can be treated and one day even cured. The basis of the disease is missing one protein. So theoretically for a biochemist like me, it looks like a gold mine. I'm incredibly excited about all the genetic technologies, be it protein replacement, um, through mRNA technology, be it gene replacement through the gene therapies. I think we're seeing a big, uh, a big sea change. But you know, a lot of families are very interested in gene therapy and we're living in an age where, you know, gene therapy for Fragile X may become available in the next few years. So that's very exciting. You know, when we talk about Fragile X treatment development now, I think of type two diabetes and hemoglobin A1C as an uh, example where depending on how severe your blood glucose is, you may need insulin or two oral meds or one oral med that's different. So we're really honing down and refining not only how we detect response, but how we detect who exactly with Fragile X may respond. We are witnessing the development of incredibly powerful technologies. I think 10 years from now, we will be able to turn more or less any gene on or off at will and that'll give us the power to manipulate diseases in a way that we've never been able to do it. The, the implications for Fragile X are obvious. In Fragile X, most people have a mutation that merely turns the gene off. There's not actually anything wrong with the coding region of the fmr one gene in most Fragile X patients. And so you could, in theory, just reactivate it, turn it on, get normal production of the Fragile X protein, and you'd be good to go. How long that scenario will take, I don't know, but we're very optimistic that we will eventually get to that point. However, Fragile X syndrome is drastically underfunded considering its high prevalence, the promise for a cure and the potential far beyond the disorder itself. It's likely that treatments for Fragile X will help many with autism and other developmental brain disorders. Fragile X is the best key we have to solving autism. Uh, I'm not sure if most people around the world understand just how closely the Fragile X and autism research communities work together. I think your optimism and your hope is reflective of the broader autism community, which, as I said earlier, really looks to the Fragile X community for leadership and is so enthusiastic and excited about the progress that's being made in Fragile X because we know that that will translate to the broader autism community. Fraxa is the research foundation for Fragile X syndrome. Fraxa's mission is to find effective treatments and ultimately a cure. The foundation fund the ongoing research that's working towards potential treatments. 
treatments that will fundamentally improve the lives of loved ones affected by Fragile X. One foundation that's had a big impact on this field is Fraxa. Fraxa organized meetings very early on in the field that were critically important in um, sort of seeding this field. And one of the features of those early meetings was this sense of shared purpose. That even though we all, you know, had our own turf to defend perhaps, particularly in academia, um, there was, that was all checked at the door. We were really there to put our heads together and come up with a solution to this problem that is Fragile X. And I think we're, we're, getting, we're getting very close. I fully expect to see a success um, in the not too distant future. And all of this is being done by, by collaborations. Um, you know, the way that we work is through academic collaborations. We couldn't possibly understand all the complexities of, of, of Fragile X and, and the brain circuitries involved without collaborating very widely with, with academic groups and other industry groups. And one of the um, things I've noticed through the years being in science is that if there's a technological problem, it, rather than a conceptual one, it can generally be overcome. So we had the right. problem with DNA sequencing, that was overcome, and now we can sequence a human genome in a couple of hours, where it used to take us 10 years. So I think I'm excited because I think there's the, the, there's a real opportunity now to sort of push forward. We're seeing signs of success. We're seeing that we can be successful in demonstrating efficacy uh, in in uh, in these patients, and I think it, it'll just it'll just snowball from here. By raising Fragile X awareness and donating to Fraxa, you will help accelerate progress towards effective treatments and ultimately a cure. <laughs>